Mm -hmm. So, uh, can I make this a good show? Right? Yeah, we got it. Now, from a message from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with the Halloween edition of our Tell Play. All right, uh, we're gonna get the get the ball rolling with this, okay? Can you uh, hand me the script? <coughs> Ray, what the what the hell is this? That's the, uh, the script. No, half half these pages are blank. The other half are all faded. What? Uh, was it my turn to put? Ink in the printer? Are you kidding me? How, how am I supposed to do a show without a script? The commercials are almost over. What are we going to do? We've done this like a thousand times before. We've got this, okay? All right. All right. It is five minutes. Five minutes. Five. We'll fill it, okay? Just read what we've got. Fill in the blank, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. The commercials are almost over. Are you ready? Hey, uh, what's a, a six-letter word for conclusion? I, I don't know. You're the crossword puzzle. All right. All right. All right. Commercials are almost over. All right. Here we go. All right, cue the music. Hello, and welcome back to Tales from the Tide. Today's story, we are going to be investigating the beast beneath Baxter Manor. <laughs> Our story starts off standing in front of a large structural building. The gothic style overpowers you and your companion, Alan, who just decided to drag you upon this paranormal investigation. This nutcase always just happens to bring you along on this stuff, and today he wants to investigate the beast beneath Baxter Manor. The beast beneath Baxter... <laughs> you check in with the old hag of a woman in, in the front desk, Agnes. Room 211, sweetheart. You enter the room, you and Alan, and you immediately pass out on the beds from an exhausting journey, uh, a journey on train. Um, you, you drift off into a, into a deep sleep. But, you're awakened with a startle, as a mysterious noise is heard from below. Your curiosity gets the best of you. You, you try to wake Alan, but he's, he's just such a heavy sleeper, you, you really can't do much there. So, so you decide to go down, you, you find yourself in the lobby when another sound is heard, a, a cry for help. You, 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 check, you check down in the basement, you're, you're walking down the staircase. As you reach the bottom step, a, an eerie rattling of chains fills the air. Your eyes adjust to the darkness. That's when you see him. My God, there's a man, he's, he's tied up, he's, he's all chained up. <laughs> he's really fucking crazy. <laughs> the, 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 there's, a, there's a window and there's a, the moonlight is shining through and the man, he, he begins to change. Oh my god, this man is infected with lycanthropy. You guys realize he's a werewolf. <laughs> you realize this, you you begin to run away. You're making your way up the staircase. You're you're you're, you're running up, but suddenly your foot it snaps through us it snaps through a snaps through a staircase. I like that. That was good. You um You uh you're you're making your way, you uh Agnes! She's the one, she she can help you, she owns this place, she must know something about it, but suddenly too late. The wolf must have gotten to her first. You have no choice but to hide. You, uh, you, uh, you have no choice to hide, but, but, but you find a cupboard and you're, you're hiding inside and the werewolf, he's looking for you and he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's looking for you and, uh, and you're, you're hiding. You're trying to stay as quiet as possible. No, you can't stop coughing. Why can't I stop coughing? What the hell? Coughing? Coughing. Go, go with it, go with it. All right, uh, so, um, so Dracula shows up, I guess, um, and, oh, yeah, yeah, and, and the Dracula and the werewolf, they, they start fighting, and, and there, there's a huge battle, with, but, the, the, but, the, but, the, but, the, but the werewolf rips Dracula's throat out and kills him. Okay, all right, so, so the, the werewolf, he picks up a chair, and he, I don't know, he, like, rips out of uh, the leg of the chair, and he, he pales, he impales the Dracula with the, with the, with the snake. Dracula's dead now. And now we're back on the, the original the story we had, I guess. So, so you, you, make, you make your way to the front desk to hide for cover, when suddenly a, uh, 
you you see a box. Yes, 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 it's a box, and there's it's all fancy and golden and stuff. You you reach down in the box. It says uh, uh it's all faded. Uh, the box is uh to in case a werewolf attack. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, so so uh you you open up the box and inside there's um. There's a, there's a, there's a, oh, there's a gun uh, with, with silver bullets, right, those, those kills the werewolf. Uh, the werewolf, he's, he's coming at you now, you, you raise the gun, you, you pull back the lever, you, you aim at him, and, and you fire! <laughs> <laughs> you did it! You killed the werewolf, and you saved the day! Uh, okay, I just, you thought you killed the werewolf, but you actually just kind of raised it. He's, I mean, he, I guess he's, he's stunned, uh, and he's just, he's just standing there, st uh, and he's staring at you, and you, oh, Alan, Alan, he's still, he's still, okay, so Alan, he's, uh, he's still upstairs, uh, so you, so you run up, you run past the werewolf, and you, and you run up in the room, the werewolf, he's gaining on you, you, you have to run, you run inside, and you, you close the door, and you lock it just in time, as the werewolf begins to thump on the door to try and break in. You can't think straight, but, but you go over to Alan, and he's, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, Alan. Uh, he's uh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, big old big old knife in his chest. God, oh, God, there's, there's blood everywhere. It's just it's gushing so uh, so audibly that you can totally hear the uh, the closet door behind you uh, open. There, there's, there's a man standing there. He's uh, he's a, um, a murderer. Oh, Alan's murderer. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and he's uh, he's oh, big and scary. He's, he's got a he's he's got a big axe. Oh yeah. He's, Totally sharpening it, and he's walking towards you, and he's, man, he's totally gonna fucking kill you unless unless uh, that werewolf breaks down the door. Uh, and man, he's walking, he's so slow, and then and then boom, the werewolf busts down the door. The max murderer and the werewolf they, they're fighting. Oh man, it's such a battle, but but it gives you a time to think. You you look to your left, you see a window. The window, you can climb to the roof, you can get away. You, you push open the window, and you're standing on the ledge. You're the wind is oh the wind is howling. The, the wind is howling and it's, it's blowing you around and stuff, but, you, but you, you begin to climb up and you, you climb up on the roof. It's, you make it, you, you're safe. Blowing bubbles? There's a, there's a, a cauldron up there. Uh, there's a bunch of witches. There's just a, a witch, a witch meeting. Okay, all right, all right. So there's a witch meeting and they're, um, I don't, I know they're, they're friends with Agnes. Agnes, oh yes, she was a witch. Okay, so Agnes was a witch and then all, all the witches are really mad now because they think you killed them or really Dracula killed them. No, no, no. The werewolf killed them. Yeah, the werewolf killed Agnes, but they think you did. And they're super mad, so they, so they, uh, cast, a, they cast a spell, and they, they, they shoot the spell at you, but, but they're not really good witches, and it backfires on you, and it, and it, it just explodes everything. The, the ground begins to crack, and the, the, the roof, it just, it just collapses. In the as the debris was falling, it hit the werewolf and the axe murderer. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the, uh, the, the witches. Oh, they fell through too. Yeah, sure. Everybody's dead. We, we all the monsters. Are... Oh, uh, okay. So, um, the, the, the cauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cauldron, uh, it, it fell and it, it, spl oh, it splashed on Alan's body. Uh, Alan's still dead. No. Oh, Alan's alive now. He's, oh, the, the potion, it brought him back from the dead. He's, he's rising from the dead and Alan's... He's not Alan. This man is a demon. This isn't the Alan you knew. This isn't the Alan you loved. You, he's, he pulls the knife out of his chest. He slides it out the legs. There we go. Okay. Uh, so so he's, he's coming at you now. He's coming to murder you. Uh, he's, he's really angry. He's coming to... Oh, and you uh, you look out the window and you see uh, you see train smoke over the uh, over the forest and you uh, you do a fucking train. Figure something out. I don't know. Uh, so, so you, you see that you, you got to get to the train station, and that's your only way out. You begin running down the uh, running down the hallway. You pass by the lobby, and you see uh, no, you you see the the, the shiny hipster twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can help you out. Don't drag us into this. Okay, all right, all right. Um, okay. So, so you're, you're running through the town. The the train station's coming up, and uh, you're, you're you're running. You can see the train, but it's it's uh, too far away to be heard. Just kidding. It's in this audible range now. If you hear it coming, oh, the two tracks are coming. This, oh, God. it's coming so fast. What are we gonna do? You're running, you're running, you're running. You have to jump, you jump. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Alan's dead. <laughs> all these monsters, they're all dead. This town is ruined. All because of Alan. Because he just has some weird fetish for paranormal activity stuff. Why do you have to drag us into this, Alan? This was this was supposed to be a vacation. Why? This is all his fault. This is all Alien's fault, Alan. Alan. Okay, fault. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so they're aliens. This is all a big ruse. The aliens come down from the sky. They just abduct everybody, and everybody's dead now. The end. What? <laughs> six, uh, six across. Word for conclusion. <laughs> Thank you for, uh... 
tuning in to our <laughs> recent Tales of the Tide. 